Hi everyone, uh, it's David. This is just a uh, follow-up video to discuss um, my reflection on the service learning project video that I did earlier. Uh, so my topic was um, middle school aged uh, nutrition and that pretty much is going to be the same across the board uh, as far as age groups go but really the only thing that's going to differ is um, portion sizes. Um, I chose to educate or attempt to educate the middle school age because it's something I'm a little bit um, inexperienced with as far as dealing with uh, that age range, but I felt like they were still going to be at a developmental level that I didn't have to break down the information to, um, I guess, Barney style so that uh, I could teach the way I, I speak and not, um, I guess, miss the, the, the main points in the teaching. Um, I chose that demographic again because it is important to learn um, diet and nutrition early because what you do as a child affects you as an adult and the sooner you can get good eating habits under control, the better because uh, childhood obesity is still an issue. So I feel like doing anything to kind of curb that and help out kids in any kind of way that are struggling with nutrition or just don't quite know because maybe their parents don't really know um, either is going to be beneficial to the community, especially as we're still dealing with, like I said, childhood obesity, childhood diabetes, um, heart issues in, in children now is becoming an issue. So that's why I chose this topic. Um, I chose to teach the way I did in the video because, again, uh, I feel like it isn't going to be too difficult for me to get the point across. And as well, was trying to get out of my own comfort zone, have a little fun kind of teaching. Um, this uh, video relates to health assessment um, because it was able to see the education side of the nursing practice. That's something that um, I have to keep in mind as a nurse that I'm not only there to treat, I'm also there to teach. And I feel like uh, to be a good teacher, you have to know the information you're talking about. So being able to reiterate some of that information. And if I can break it down to middle schoolers, I should be able to relate it to, um, to adults as well. If that's who I'm gonna be treating. Um, and I feel like my video contributed positively just because, like I mentioned, of all the uh, early childhood complications going on that are related to nutrition, especially in the South, we tend to have a little bit uh, harsher diet than people up North or out West typically would. So I feel like any impact I can do to help uh, curb any negative health or negative uh, diet habits early on is just going to help individuals at a later age where, um, you know, once the damage is done, sometimes you can't reverse it. You're just dealing with it in that tertiary manner of care. So um, I think the that sums up the um, the gist of, of my reflection. Thank you very much.